welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing passive income and tech in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can automatically deliver your digital products via email with system.io delivering your digital products via email ensures that your clients get their digital products straight to their inbox and once it's set up you don't have to do a thing because everything is automatic I also wanted to quickly mention that I'm running a special competition at the moment where you can win a free copy of my complete setup system that grows your email list, sells your digital products and grows your affiliate commission all at the same time. And my high converting done for you digital product courses are also included. Before I dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put links to resources and the competition in the comment section below of the video. So definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more content for you guys. Okay, so in system.io, there are actually three different ways that you can deliver your digital products via email. The first way is there is actually an option inside your funnel where you can select an action which will deliver the email. You can set up an email campaign and deliver it via a workflow. And also there are courses. So let's go through each of the one, the options, and I will show you how it works. Okay, so let's just go to a funnel. I'm just gonna go to, let's just go to this one here. Okay, so let's just say that somebody has ordered a product. They have gone through the purchasing process and I've set up my funnel. Okay, so I have got automation rules, which is here. Now this is the simplest way I find just to quickly, you know, send the email with the links and everything like that. I like to do it inside the product funnel when it's just delivering it and I don't need anything else attached to it. So if I go to add rule, I can go when a new sale occurs and I'll click on here and I'll go add action. And of course I will make sure that I add tags as well because you need to make sure that you tag when your sales come in and what they've bought. So we'll just pretend that they've bought this. Okay, now I'm going to add the action of sending an email. So this is really cool because you can pull from an email that you've already sent if you need to, or you can create an email straight away. So I would create the email here and I'm going to go, thank you for your purchase. And I always write what the digital product is. So then if I'm ever going through my system, I can tell between all the different emails. <laughs> and I would write something like, hey, and I'm gonna put in their first name using a variable because I like to personalize things. And it'd be like, thank you for your purchase or whatever little message you wanna write. And then you can put some steps in here. So say step one is download here, whatever it is. Maybe you've got a couple of different steps that you need them to take to be able to do things. So what I like to do is I put in here, I don't attach it. I put the link from my Dropbox. So let's just say I had a PDF. So this is my PDF here. I would go here and I would grab a copy Dropbox link. Now you can use anything like Google Drive, basically anything where there's a link. Now the reason why I like the link is because what I found is that if I updated that PDF for any reason, like something is I made a spelling mistake or I wanted to put more content in there or anything like that, when I drag and drop my new PDF into here with the exact same name, all it does is replaces that PDF, but it doesn't change the link URL, which means when I pop the link in here like this, that link will always be there. So it's linked to that exact PDF. So it means if you ever update it or anything like that, you don't have to update it inside system.io, you just have to update it in your filing system. So that's why it's really important to name things really simply and really clearly and have your filing system sorted. So then that's all you really need to do. And maybe you write the right thanks or whatever it is, if you want to put any other special bonuses in there. The other way is you can attach things, but again, like I said before, if you do a link, it's way better for you in the future, especially if you're updating stuff. And then all I would need to do is hit save. I'm not going to save it though, because I don't actually need this in here. And then you would just make sure that you hit the save the rule. So that is the first way that you can deliver your digital products automatically with system.io is actually inside the funnel. Now you would only do this way if it was something really simple and you don't need anything else attached to it. And by that I mean like other tasks or workflows or anything like that. You just keep it nice and simple inside your funnel there. Well that's how I use it anyway. 
Okay, so let's just say you wanted to do something a little bit more complicated and you wanted to deliver your digital product and also send some sort of email campaign afterwards. So what you can do is you would come into your funnel and you would just make sure that you had a trigger and I just like to do that because I'm already here and I'm going to go add tag and I will add whatever the tag is for this digital product. Okay, so I would save that. So let's just save that rule. And then I'm going to make sure that in emails I have set up my campaign. So I'm going to say that the converting lead magnet campaign, that's the campaign that I've set up. So I've written all my emails, they all are right and they're ready to go. And inside there is also, um, you know, any information that they need. Okay, so that's my email campaign. So what I would do is I would go to automations and I'd go to workflows and I'm going to go to create and we'll just create the, the workflow. And when you click on the workflow, you'll be like, okay, so my first trigger is when somebody has got that tag added. So what is that tag? So remember it's from that funnel, from that specific funnel. So whatever that tag was that we created, so let's just say it's this one, but it would be specific to that funnel, right? So we create that and then we would go to action and we would send the email. So let's just say it's send the email and we would create the email that says, thank you for your purchase. And then we would save and edit that. And we would put in all the links, everything like that, all the information that the person needs, you know, like, hey, the name, and then like, here's your download. We would grab the link from our Dropbox. So we'd copy that. You know, paste it in there. So the first email is delivering the um, the download, right? So we'd save that. I'm not going to save it because I don't actually need it, but um, the first one would come up there, right? So now let's just say you wanted to, um, after they've gotten the um, digital product, you want to set them on another campaign. So you can go to action and you can go to subscribe to campaign and you can send them some different types of emails. Maybe you've got another um, another campaign that might suit, anything like that. So you would go like that. You can even add in like a delay if you wanted to of like, you know, a day or something like that. So after they've, you know, gotten your digital product, they're like, cool, I really love this. And then you send them on a different path. So that's a little bit more of a like a complicated way with workflows um, to be able to deliver your digital product. But if you do something like this, it means you've got like a little bit more like flexibility. But remember what, what this will do is that it will pull from the tag. So if you've got that tag anywhere else, it's going to do this as well. So let me just exit out of there because we don't need to keep that. And I will go through courses. Okay, so with courses, because they're a digital product, I just wanted to show you how they actually get delivered via email because when I first sold a course, I didn't actually know how somebody got access to the course. So what happens is you have set up your course, right? So let's say I've set up this course here, which is how to write copy that sells. Everything's in there, the course, the content is inside system.io, right? I've set up my funnel that actually sells the course, okay? So on the how to write copy that sells order form, if I go down, you can make sure that the resources that you have selected is the course, how to write copies that sells, and I've given the person full access, right? And obviously a pricing plan. So you need to make sure that you have this set up because the next part actually happens automatically. So when somebody buys the course, system.io will automatically send them a, an access email which looks like this so all somebody has to do is log into their system.io account and they will immediately go to a dashboard which will have the course on there so that all happens automatically for you what I do suggest that you do though is you set up a email that also sends um, directly to the person's um, email address and inbox just saying hey just wanted to make sure that you got access all that kind of stuff because sometimes they don't get through I'm not quite sure why or sometimes people just miss them anything like that but those are the three ways that you can deliver your digital products via email with system.io so if you enjoyed my content today please like the video make sure you subscribe even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you